Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to make a short video detailing some tips and tricks of how we travel with Chloe in our car. There are two sections to this video. The first being the preparation that we do before our travel and the second one showing what we do during the trip. Preparations. To start off, before the trip, we pack her things like her food, some meds, toys, treats, etc. We make sure we carry more than enough food for the time we're going away from home in a large jar along with her food bowl. We also carry a collapsible water bowl. Chloe usually doesn't eat treats during her car ride, but we pack them in for later. In case we are traveling for leisure to a new city for a holiday, we also make sure we identify one or two vets in the area so that we have a good idea of where to take her in case of an emergency. Although, we do carry allergy meds and some antifungal antibacterial ointments just in case we need it. We keep an antacid medicine in the front pocket of a bag in case we need it during the ride. Before we depart on our trip, we don't feed her for 6 to 8 hours before so as to avoid any motion sickness. Chloe does perfectly fine with up to 18 hours without any food or water. But you would know what's best for your pet. Check with your vet about this. Now, let me tell you a few things we tend to do to make our car ride comfortable and safe. We always keep Chloe in the back seat of the car with a seat belt attached to a harness. We got the seat belt from Amazon, but you could hunt around and would find something similar anywhere else. It is essential that you do not attach the seat belt to the collar as in case of even a minor collision, your pet could get seriously injured. We put her on her home bed so that she has a sense of familiarity and put her on a leash in case the doors are open off the car. And when we unhook her from the seatbelt, we have something to catch on to in case she runs away or needs to get down for a potty slash pee break. What we sometimes see people do is hold their pet in the front passenger seat with them. This is not only uncomfortable for you and your pet on a long trip, but also more importantly, could be fatal for your pet in case the airbags deploy. Our car is basic and doesn't have vents for the AC at the back. So we just keep the central vents positioned straight down so that Chloe doesn't feel hot or cold. In case your car doesn't have sunshades at the back, we would recommend you to get some as firstly, the help in keeping your pet cool at the back and more importantly, it prevents your pet from peeking outside and remaining calm. People outside cannot see your pet inside the car and wouldn't wave a call out to him or her, which might get your pet excited. And there you have it. These are some basics on what we do with Chloe during our travels. Hope you have a safe and enjoyable travel with your pet. Take care. Bye-bye for now. Okay,